Hi, welcome back to TechTut. In this lecture, we are understanding the concept of key attribute. So, key attribute is an attribute or collection of attributes which can uniquely identify each record in a relation or a table. So, you can write down the formal definition which I have written here an attribute or a set of attributes which can uniquely identify all the entities of an entity set or each record of a relation or table right so this is what we call it as key attribute fine so we have example here to understand let's say uh, to store the information of a student we have created a table database table which has attribute name subject and grade so these three are dummy informations which I have already filled so student A1 gets EX grade in subject DBMS right similarly B1 in OS gets A and similar, similarly A2 in DBMS gets C right so if here somebody asks what is the grade of A1 so we can quickly answer that EX okay in DBMS of course and what is the grade of B1 so A I can answer but consider a situation where I have or even in this existing database if somebody asks a question or uh, that what is the name of student which has taken subject DBMS so th then there is a conflict why because there are two students there are two students who have taken subject DBMS okay and uh, the expected query should I mean expected result should be a single attribute right so I'm not I mean I'm not able to uniquely identify a single record okay so for now name by name I can identify each record uniquely but this is not the not the case which always happens like in a class there may be two students having same name so I'm considering the case so let's say student a1 so there are two students with name a1 and they have subject uh, let's say he is also dbms and the grade is b so now with the help of a1 or by the name i cannot identify unique record right so when I use the name uh, name as a key and try to find out so we have conflict as we have two name with a1 so the basic idea is whenever we choose an attribute or a set of attributes the combination should be unique throughout the table okay so in that case we may have an option that we can choose name and grade because if you consider name and grade together are unique throughout the table right but again we can have two students with same name and same record uh, same grade right so these all are not a feasible option and that's why in our all modern databases we have a certain convention of id right not just in databases in our class also have unique roll number assigned to each student similarly uh, even on all networking websites or or on each website student uh, users have username right and the username is unique throughout right so that is the concept that we predefine some field and that field will be unique throughout so in case of student we will have roll number okay and that will store the information I mean that will be something like one two three five and so on okay and this roll number will not be common to I mean will not be common to two or more students like it will be unique throughout obviously right so this will act as a key for our student database okay and similar thing happens in all the cases where we need to have a user identification so for user identity I mean we have PAN numbers which is unique we have driving license number which is unique passport number which is unique right so with this unique uh, attribute we can identify all the remaining attributes 
for that particular entity okay so this is the whole concept of key attribute we will be learning key attribute in more detail where we will have different kinds of key attribute that is we have super key we have uh, candidate key we have primary key so all these things we will be learning in upcoming chapters for now this is enough to understand the next video so thanks for watching